Hey everyone, it's Gina and we are back with another video. So today is a little more fun. I finally got a plant in that I've been waiting for for, God, it feels like forever. I think it's been a couple months and it's the Bobo Hydrangea. So this plant actually is not hardy in my zone at all. It's zone three through eight, I believe. So I'm gonna be putting it in the shade. It's gonna go in my moon garden, which is perfect because it has really nice white panicles of flowers. So I'm really excited and I already opened the box and it has blooms already. Oh my gosh, I'm just so excited. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. Uh, so we need to prep the area a little bit. There's some sand left over from when we installed our fountain. There's also crepe myrtle blooms that have fallen off. So we're gonna clean that up, get the area prepared and then start planting. This is the area, it looks good to go. So it's gonna get dappled sun, at least I hope. The sun is is behind me a little bit right now, but the, the sun will also be going over the house. So I think it's gonna be okay. It's gonna want a lot of shade, but we're gonna try it here and then see how it goes. It's in the ground and look, it has beautiful blooms. I'm so excited. Now the last step of course is to put it on drip irrigation so I'm not gonna forget to water it and have it die. So let's go do that. the drip is set the plant looks good it's gonna get dappled shade that should be just enough Sun for it not to scorch but also enjoy itself and I left room in the back I'll have to clean it up a little better to plant something bigger I haven't decided what I want to do but if you guys have any ideas for like a part shade to shade big nice plant I'm all down for it but it has to be white for the moon garden area but yep so I put a two gallon per hour emitter and I tapped into the uh, 
the drip tubing I already had. This is one half inch with emitters every 12 inches. And I just did that because my tropical garden's over here. And it's just better to saturate the soil that way. Normally I would just put black poly, but I'm going to be planting this area up a lot. And this ensures saturation of the soil. So there's the emitter right here. It's right at the root ball, so it'll get all the water it needs. I don't think I'm gonna need to add another emitter. That was the whole thing I was wondering about because uh, the other, great, another wasp up there, ruining my shot. But anyways, the reason I don't think I need to add another um, emitter is because it's in the shade and the hydrangeas that I planted um, in the sun on the side of the house, the, the hedge that I did, they are in full sun like most of the day until about three and then they get shade so they needed more water so we're gonna have to see how this does it looks really good i know that was a really short video you guys but i hope you enjoyed seeing me plant uh be sure to like and subscribe that's sweat drips down my face <laughs> be sure to like and subscribe for more videos coming soon and i will see you guys very soon in the next one bye